Hey guys, Janine here, and in today's video I'll be talking about how to solve for a missing angle in the triangle. So the first most important thing to note is that whenever you sum up the three angles in a triangle, you should get 180 degrees. So let's take a look at this triangle we have here. So we have angles A, B, and C, and when we sum them all up, we get 180 degrees. So we end up with this formula here, A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees, where each of those three letters denote an angle. So let's take a look at a few examples. In this problem here, we have a triangle, and we know that's a right triangle because of this symbol here, which means 90 degrees. And then we have this angle, which is 57 degrees, and we are asked to solve for this angle denoted by the letter X. So the first step is to sum up all these angles and set them equal to 180 degrees. And we know that it's equal to 180 degrees because we have a triangle, so let's do that. So we get 57 degrees plus 90 degrees plus x is equal to 180 degrees. And from here, we're going to want to simplify this expression. And we're going to add these two numbers here, and we are going to get 147 degrees. And then plus x is equal to 180 degrees. And from here, we're going to want to solve for x, and we're going to do that by subtracting both sides by 147. And so the, these two cancel, and we're left with x is equal to 33 degrees. And that's your final answer. Let's take a look at this last example here. So in this example, we have this triangle, and we're told that this angle here is 48 degrees, this angle up here is 64 degrees, and we're asked to solve for this missing angle denoted by the letter x. So as in the previous example, we are going to want to sum up these three angles instead of equal to 180 degrees. So let's do that. So we get 48 degrees plus 64 degrees plus x is equal to 180 degrees. And from here, we're going to want to simplify this equation. And so we can do that by adding the 48 and the 64, as shown here. And so 48 plus 64 gives us 112 degrees. So this equation becomes 112 degrees plus x is equal to 180 degrees. So in this final step, we want to isolate the x. So we're going to do that by subtracting both sides by 112 degrees. So when we do that, these two cancel, and we're left with x is equal to 68 degrees. And that's our final answer. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you guys have any recommendations of what types of videos you guys want to see next, just leave them down in the comments below, and I will get back to you. Happy studying. Bye.